Hi, this is Lily. Um, today I'm comparing between the two Palette Custom A23s that I have here. Um, on the left is the amber with a fly nib, and on the right is the clear version with an FA nib. And uh, some of you have asked me to compare between the colors as you have a hard time deciding between the amber, the clear, and the smoke. Um, I don't have the smoke yet, but the smoke is a classy dark, um, dark gray, almost black, um, hence the name. So very classic looking. The amber is a warm, um, well, amber honey-like color. Um, and at first I was not sure about this color. I don't really have any other pen with this um tone but it has grown on me and it's warm and i think it looks um you know with time i just think it really grows on me and so i like it also because the brownish golden tone goes very well with these um gold and black um features so that's that the clear one is very pretty, and some of you have seen the pictures of this one before I ink it. Um, but you can see that it's clear. Um, so I guess you can also call it a demo uh, pen. And it has also gold and black accent, and also more black. So overall, I just think it looks very, very cool. Um, I like it a lot. I think it looks fun, but also looks professional enough that you can use it at work. Um, and certainly with this, you will see the ink color a little better. Um, but, you know, as you can see, even on the amber, you can pretty much tell the color here. I think, I believe, I'm guessing that I have the Waterman Inspire Blue ink, since that's what I've been using quite a bit. Um, and then on, in this one, um, I have, I have inked the, um, with a diamond skull and roses, um, because that ink is just so dramatic on the page, um, sometimes. Anyway, so I'll demonstrate how, um, the nib writes on the paper soon. I also just want to add real quick that, um, the FA or the Falcon nib on this one is not exactly the same uh, nib on a Palette Falcon, um, which I have here in a sub extra fine. So I'll do a little demonstration to show you. And um, also, just for comparison, I also want to show you the Waverly nib, which is another interesting nib um, on this Pilot 912. And also, just as a bonus, I want to show the nib of my favorite pen. Um, this is the Pilot Stargazer with a medium nib. In the Japanese market, it's also known as the Pilot Stella um, 90S, I believe. And it's small, but the nib is really wonderful. So let's begin. Here I have a pad of um, Tomoe River paper, 52 GSM, my favorite paper. And um, I have tried earlier to do a little test, but let me just show you now um, in real time so you can see how this writes. So this is the amber one with a fine nib, and the nib has been sort of touched on a little bit to make sure that it's a little extra wet as I like it. Um, but you know, by itself it's already writing pretty wet, it's just a matter of personal preference. So here we go. So that's the F, and you can see it's pretty fine, um, running perfectly wet. 
And that ain't so pretty too. I'm pretty sure that is the word I mean. And here we have the clear with the FA nib, as you can see. Hold on one sec. I'm not sure you can see clearly, but um, it say FA on the nib. And so here we go. So I want to show you how this is a soft nib and so it has also a little extra flex compared to that one. So for those who love um, some flex to the pen, I think you will be happy with this. Uh, of course, it's still a modern kind of flex, so it'll be a little different from the vintage feel of flex. But, you know, um, I guess I shouldn't be comparing apples and oranges here. And um, yeah, this is perfectly wet. It's soft, it's flexy, but not too flexy, they're springy. Um, I just really like it and just you know so you can see again the fine and how that's not really flexy but it's still soft being that it's a gold nip. Yeah not really flex at all but it is soft enough that it does have a little give to it. It's not certainly not like a harsh nail um, steel nib. They're very lovely, and I love um, how comfortable the 823 feels in the hand. It's certainly um, the reason why I want a second one of this. So as I said earlier, um, this is the nib on a padded falcon. And as you can see, it looks different, and it also certainly feels different from the Falcon nib on the A23. Here I have an SEF, so it's going to be a lot finer um, than either of these, but it's still a lovely one. Let's try to get some focus here. So as you can see, it is soft enough that you can get a little variation, but obviously I wouldn't um, abuse the snip as it's not really meant to flex very much. Um, still, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely nib, especially for those of us who write um, small, like if you write very small. can certainly do that. Um, I think this would be perfect if you want to take notes on the margin of your books and such. Also just for regular writing, if you, again, if you write small. And since we talking about palette, may as well take a look at this. Um, this is the palette 912 or 912 with a Waverly nib. You can see the WA um, note on the nib here and it's a little smaller than the other two um, I'm not sure if I can show clearly how the nib look like come on anyway so this one the tip 
of this um, is grow in a way that it allows for um, sort of more, I believe it's more um, surface area so that it fits also for left hand people and right hand people. It allows you to turn and rotate and still um, be able to ride comfortably. Let me just see if I can demonstrate that. As you can see, even if I tilt the nip to one side or another, um, it still rides very, very comfortably. And this is also um, a go nip and it's soft, so it's certainly not flexy, but it's very, very comfortable to write. Um, it feels almost like a medium when you write. As you can see, the ink comes out beautifully. Um, I like to use it for, you know, long writing sessions. Um, it's certainly very comfortable. But talking about comfortable, this is just really my, um, sorry, not you, this one, my favorite, this tiny, tiny pen, um, well, not too tiny, but really small for me, as you can see. This is the Palace Stargazer in medium, and this is so lovely. Um, the body has a beautiful, sort of shiny um, metal finish to it. It's a nice size, especially if you post it. But the nib of this is really dreamy. Um, I, I know that's not very descriptive, but I can't really come up with any um, better description. Um, if you get a chance to try it out in a store, I would highly recommend it or try it with, um, for another friend. I know it doesn't look like much, um, but it does have some softness to it, um, you know, being also a go nip, and it just rides so well. Um, it's easily one of my favorite, favorite palette pens, or just favorite pens in general, and you can have it at a really good price. Um, this one, I can't remember how much it was that I got it, but it was on sale. On close out at Gullet, um, and you can get it um, a little cheaper if you buy the Stella version from Japan. So that's that. Um, so that's uh, quite a lot on pilot pens. I originally just really meant to compare these two A23s, as um, some of you have asked, but I just want to show you that there are other pilot pens. Um, at you know lower price point that work just wonderfully and you can get them easily without a long wait um the ember 823 you can get right now at many retailers the clear fa you have to wait um because there's a long wait list um at tokyo pen shop quill but other than that there are many pilot pens you can get for um a cheaper price and just enjoy writing tremendously as well um, so yeah that are that concludes my video of the pilot pens I hope this is helpful and um, wow that sheen comes out already this is the diamond is going roses ink um, the funny thing is when you first write it down, it doesn't look very sheeny, sheeny, but if you wait it for a while, like, you can see some of the sheen that starts to come out. Uh, it's pretty 